like in you there has to be more what I what are called exposures they have to hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how to grow or how to turn a cold prospect into a buyer fast the fastest that you can do online and still being you know still being honest and still doing it the right way so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So yeah, turning your cold prospects into buyers faster than any other method using automated software and I forgot to mention that in the beginning we're going to be showing you how to use automated software but also I want to show you how to do it or at least how the process works or how it how to do it even without software and um and and also want to tell you that I'm actually doing a workshop that's going to kind of go through this in a in a in a live webinar format instead of being you know something recorded like this and it's happening tonight now this recording uh is going to be afterwards but if there's another session it might still be available it'd be at workshop.jsgagnon.com let's actually put that in there workshop.jsgagnon.com do I have it anywhere in here no I don't I'm gonna have to anyways it'll be in the comments below or in the blog post all right so before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video read the blog post at cis437.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and I'll be showing you exactly what we're talking about here all right so let's do that right now let me go share my screen here and uh get this uh over here let's go there all right so share the screen where are we going okay so on social media uh you might already know this that you know you should be creating content regularly so you know number one create content regularly number two engage on your on your followers posts or your audiences posts and comments re reply to their comments you know take the actions right to engage with them to let them know that you care about them but the thing that is well there's a couple things two things that I learned over the last couple of years is one of the hardest things to do is find the actual the right people to engage with right because you know what they teach you is when if you're doing any kind of online marketing attraction marketing personal branding any of those kinds of online marketing social media marketing strategies and all that they teach you to go like say we're talking about Facebook obviously other platforms is very similar but say they're talking about Facebook we're going to talk about going to Facebook going to the news feed right here engaging on the posts you see here and going to groups that you're interested in if I go to groups right here and I look at the groups that I'm in I can see that there's posts here that are in some of the groups I'm in right if I can if I go to those groups and I engage on the stuff you know over time what will happen is people will start to notice you right they're going to start to see your your you know because just like this person here is posting this person here is commenting right Chase Tracy here and um uh, Cecilia right here and Catherine right there so all those people are engaging in the posts in the groups which means that other members of the groups will eventually see them if they're doing it often enough right so that's that's one of the things that's taught on online marketing is to do that go to the groups engage the groups now I'm not telling you not to do that but what I'm going to show you is a way that helps with your time because that does take a lot of time to go to the groups and the other thing that's you know kind of a problem is how do you know if that person is even going to see your stuff or is even going to notice you or not right how can you increase your chances of that person actually seeing you 
and getting to know you just by seeing you in the news feed and all that stuff right so that's another thing that's taught is engaging on posts is what causes the platform to share your post so that people see your post so that they engage on your post right because you know if I go to my page right now my 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 profile just my main profile right here you're going to notice that I'm posting stuff because you know I'm doing this workshop right now right so that's kind of wh what I'm talking about like I said I I had a uh, I was on a wake-up call today and it's you know I got four people coming in this one and 32 comments on this one and I have my post and I'm posting things and I'm getting some engagement not a ton because this one only has four likes on it this one here has 38 comments though right this one here has uh, 68 comments right so I mean and 57 over here 37 over here so I do get some engagement on some of the posts and others I get none right like this one here is one of the course income secrets uh episodes that I did like last week <laughs> and um I don't have any comments and it's not because so if somebody was to come to my page and they were to look at my posts they would you know comment on some of the stuff they're interested in and some people would be interested in this but the problem is that Facebook doesn't share that in the news feed if I go back to the news feed what I see here in the news feed is because I've engaged on some of course there's the ads but because I've engaged on some of the stuff before and now Facebook is showing me things that are related to things I've engaged with before right so you want to be there so for you to be in the news feed of other people right for you to be in the news feed of other people there's ads so obviously the ads are not related but if you want to be in other people's feed you have to be engaging on their posts right that's that's just a given the thing is you can just engage on random posts like this on the, on the news feed I can just scroll through the news feed and just engage on some of these posts right or what if you had a list of who you should engage on today right I mean the news feed is kind of supposed to be that but the problem with this news feed is that Facebook will show you only 20 to 40 friends I mean I have 4,000 friends over 4,000 friends now so if you have um, you know over a thousand friends you're always going to see the same 20 or 40 people that's that's just how it is unless you do some of these things which are going to teach Facebook that you are interested in more than that and um so you could do that by going to groups right I can go to these groups here uh, let's say I go to my what other groups do I have let's say I go to the magic sauce the network marketing rock I don't I don't remember being but that group I'm part of and I can go in here and I can engage oh that's case K's group okay yeah so he's one of uh, so I can engage on his stuff I can uh, engage on uh if there's other people posting uh, I guess maybe this is just yeah he's building a community which is great that's one of the things you should be doing too is you should be building a community right but if I go back to my groups here I want to find like a group that's kind of like a that all sorts of people paste post stuff right so maybe how about this one your first funnel challenge that's definitely a group that was from Russell Brunson the in the funnels right and tons of people are posting in here right so I could go and engage on these like people are asking questions I could answer questions I could do that right but what if I got a list of who is most active in this group the people that are the people that are actually doing things like you can go in here and click on his name right and I can see whether he's got some activities right I can see three three things here recent activities I can see a post that he did an hour ago and that's it that's all he did uh but well, actually that's what Facebook shows me I don't know if that's all he did he might have posted before but we just don't know <clears throat> but still that would tell me that at least that person is posting he's commenting he's engaging how about this one uh this one is only one question that's it he didn't do anything else so maybe maybe I wouldn't engage with 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 him necessarily but you know the thing is that how do you know whether you can like I can engage on this on this post here and I can comment on this you know answer his question right but how do I you know just doing that this one time how am I going to remember like a month from now that I that I did that 
I uh, certainly won't I certainly won't um the other thing too is that what about in like here's another thing to understand if you want people to know you uh you must have heard before that you have to post all the time you got to post about you you got to be you you got to you know and you got to you got to promote yourself you know as a as a so basically the personal branding is all about creating content that has that revolves around what you're about right revolves around maybe your family maybe your job maybe your your hobbies maybe stuff that you're interested in that you're that you're passionate about around you plus also of you pictures of you so people know what you look like right so they see your face and that's important to do that once in a while not every single post but enough so that when they see it they recognize you right but they're not going to recognize you the first time they see you it's going to take a while but the process is that they must know you to like you so that they trust you and so that they buy from you so that's no like trust that's what they call the no well I call it the no like trust ladder because if you want to go from no somebody if you want somebody to go from knowing you well let's start at the zero zero is they have no clue who you are they've never heard of you they don't know who you are so going from zero to knowing you there's there's steps that they got to go through they can't just see you once and then they know you they that's not enough they're not going to know you by just seeing one post they have to see you multiple times and my from what I've done it's seven to ten times they need to see you to get to get the feeling that they know you right so that's kind of why I'm saying it's a ladder so ladder one two three four five six let's say it's seven seven rungs of a ladder I'll take you to liking you or no knowing you <laughs> sorry knowing you then it's the same thing going to the like is the same between knowing you and liking you there has to be more what I what are called exposures they have to see you more they have to see you in their environment and the way they see you is through either commenting engaging or notifications imagine notifications just notifications if I look at this list I have here all these notifications are here and I see these faces here right because I and I I recognize them because I've been engaging with them for a while right and these notifications you want to be in the other people's notifications you want them to see you here all the time <clears throat> so that's you know one of the ways to to grow your no like trust is for people to see you in their notifications right and how do you do that well you engage on the post you comment on the post you you uh like their posts maybe even share their posts right those kinds of things are things that show you in their notifications right <clears throat> but you still don't really know you know how do I know when it's time for me to reach out to Parker that he knows who I am he he commented here because he saw me comment on one of his posts but how many times did he see me now is he has he seen me enough for me to reach out to him has he seen me enough to know me has he seen me enough to like me how about trust me <clears throat> where does that happen right how long does it take for that to happen and like I said it's you know seven to ten to go between each of the rungs but the thing is that you can get the data from the groups if I want to pick up the names of these people in the group instead of me trying to go and figure out whether these people are active or not see Michaela Greer here I can actually go find let's let's go here I'm just going to show you something here Michaela so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to search for Michaela right here and see if uh actually I should clear all the filters go here and filter whoops I, I pressed the clear button again <coughs> So Michaela is not there let's go in all contacts see that one's not there but okay let's see that's a new contact maybe that's just not in my list yet uh actually I know this one here this one here is one of the admins I think but if so if I go and I search for that oh I know what's going on uh, 
<clears throat> sorry I forgot to reset <coughs> my filters okay so let's just go back to here and still that's weird what's going on oh 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 Oh, I'm not sure what's going on because that name is in the list <laughs> that name is in the list maybe just jz jz let's search for jz there's no jz something's going on here it's not doing what it's supposed to do but my as you can see right here you've got we've got a list of all these people it's right there jz click those why is that not working <coughs> oh because I maybe oh anyways okay so this is this is what happens so you're going through trying to figure out who you've engaged with who you haven't and who you should be spending time with yourself right so for me that was basically I was going I was doing that myself right I was going to groups I was engaging in groups I was engaging on comments I was trying to reach out to people and nothing was working because people weren't didn't know me yet but so then I just kind of let it go and I just you know created content created content created content all the time right and I wouldn't really bother trying to reach out to people or anything like that but then I had something I wanted to offer people I wanted to you know sell I I have a, a something that I think help can help them this is exactly what I'm talking about right now the software basically what the software does is gives you the list of all the if I go back to here it gives you the list of all the people that are in the groups you choose so you choose the groups you you enter the groups that you want right and then you give you tell it to go and fetch the list of users so it'll go and get the users that are posting and the users that are commenting it also tells you right here which group it is right you can see right here the group and you can actually go and say okay I just want to I, and then you can sort it by different things right so there's the Facebook posts how many posts the people that are posting the most let's go and sort by that <clears throat> so the people that are posting the most you see that Zach Crawford which I'm sure you've heard the name before posted 75 posts in the last this is in the last 30 days by the way and uh this person Brian Fennell posted 26 um this person here posted 23 times 19 times 17 times 13 times 13 12 8 6 5 3 now I can load more and I can go find more and more people that uh, and the number of posts is two right here right two 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 one 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 right so that's how many, the people that have posted the number of times they posted I can have it sorted by this so now I know that if I want to engage on the people that have posted the most I just go by this column here right and I can go and engage on these people's posts by the fact that they posted if I want to know who is commenting the most who's the most engaged in the group right who's the most who's you know answering questions and 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 things I just sort by the comments right here this is the number of comments in the last 30 days so you can see like a, this is the one I was trying to find I don't understand why I couldn't find it's probably a bug I'll fix it but over here you can see they they have 14 oops I don't want to do that it's going to make me pop up something so 14 over here 13 10 oh no that's not true that's 143 143 138 109 77 68 66 63 61 as you can see the numbers are going down but it's still pretty high right 30 comments these people have 30 29 and 30 comments I can load some more because there's thousands of them in in here and 22 21 20 right these are people that have commented at least 20 times in the last month in the groups that I told it to to look now the groups I'm not going to show you how the software uh, works right now in this in this presentation but if you want you should go to workshop.jsgagnon.com I'm actually let's let me actually put this link in here I actually have uh can I just do okay copy uh, I guess how does that work is it 
to go to. There's got to be a duplicate in there. Oh, there you go. Paste duplicate. Okay, there we go. So, this is going to be... Ah, there you go. There we go. Okay, there. Let's make that. There you go. Workshop.jsgaino.com. You can go there. You're going to register. Like I said, it's happening tonight, but uh, this recording is going to show up like a week after. So you, you, there's, there might be another workshop. Otherwise, you might get the replay. But that's still going to be the link that's going to take you to whatever is the most recent information about this, where I'm going to go through this software, explain how to use it, how to install it, how to set it up how to read all this stuff there's a whole lot of information here right <clears throat> uh and so yeah go to workshop.jsgagnon.com to register or to at least go see the replay if there isn't a new uh session all right so that's what that is and what I wanted to show you I'm forgetting what did I want to show you all right so yeah so the next thing that's important to know is that whenever you're going through this list and you're deciding okay I'm going to go visit Eli, Eli Gonzalez here you well right here actually I'm not going to do that right now because I want to show you something <clears throat> so right here it tells me that I saw their profile two days ago so that means I probably don't need to go visit them and, and well you could do you could do it that way if you wanted but me I do six days so I wait at least six days before I visit the profile again and that allows me to make sure that I'm not visiting people that haven't posted something new uh, too often right so if I go say for example see five days this is 200 well this is my profile <laughs> uh Elizabeth Alfred was six days ago so let's go see what she's doing so I click on her name here it pops up a kind of a little overview of, of her profile it tells me that I've commented on 66 posts I reacted to 66 posts and um I haven't pri private messaged her yet but if I click on her name again here it takes me to the Facebook page her Facebook profile and I can see what her posts are and I can engage on her posts right then come over here and I can say uh, I can just uh, comment on this I can say I'm listening listening to Russell Brunson's secret expert secrets for the nth time always always learning each time right so I can do that is that right I'm listening okay so I'm going to comment here then I'm going to go to the next post and as you can see this was one day ago <clears throat> and then I'll just say this I'll just say have a great week now obviously the actual comment you put there the and get the, the 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 reaction or whatever you do is should be about the, the you know reading it a little bit more and maybe saying something a little bit more insightful than what I'm doing right now but uh I'm just going to do this and now I've commented on three posts I could keep going but I usually keep it at three I keep it at three then I close the tab and then I'm back here and I actually going to say I engage on three posts reacted on three posts I'm going to save it like this so the other thing that happens <coughs> uh let me reload this page because it looks like it's missing something uh, there you go okay so the other thing too that happens is as you as you visit profiles the line turns green the line that's green means that I visited them in the last 24 hours so it makes it easier to say I don't need to visit them right now because I visited them a couple hours ago uh the other thing too uh yeah well let's not okay and over here <coughs> if I don't if I want to go by who I visited I can sort by this which is the the visits how long how many visits see how many visits I've had 50 44 42 
this tells me how many times I went to their profile so that's why these are hot right they're hot leads because I visited them so many times that now they've seen me in their notifications a lot and they kind of have a clue of who I am because they probably also saw some of my posts they probably even went to my profile by now and they have a clue of who I am they've probably seen my stories they've seen whatever I do whatever I'm about even though they might not be necessarily interested in what I do they are in my target market because they're in the groups that I chose that I know that my target market hangs out in right so I I choose the groups <coughs> and then that's kind of how it works right so then I can go and I can actually uh like you see right here this says reply this says contacted this says presented it basically allows me to kind of track who I sent a message to and whether they replied or not and whether I presented to them or not or I at least talked to them about my offer right so whatever wording we want to use here but you know the the sales cycle right the sales funnel kind of cycle right and that's kind of what this is about right and um so so yeah so that you can get this this tool if you want but you also go to like I said you should check out the workshop because it'll have a replay at the very least a replay and it'll be a little bit more organized than what I'm doing right now because I just wanted to show you and how, why do I say that this allows you to turn your prospects your cold prospects into buyers fast because the secret to turning a cold prospect into a buyer is that they need to know like and trust you right so that they buy from you they're not going to buy from you if they don't know you they're certainly not going to well they're not going to buy you from you if they trust if they don't trust you they're certainly not going to buy from you if they don't know you and definitely not gonna if they don't like you right so they have to know like and trust you and the way to do that is to be seen but the other thing that's important you have to realize that on Facebook what do people want they're posting on Facebook they're, they're they want others to see their stuff and they want others to comment on their stuff they want others to engage on their posts that's the whole reason they're posting on Facebook because they want people to see their stuff so that they engage on their stuff so that their messages sent out so one of the things that you can do for them is you can actually engage on their stuff even though you might not buy their stuff you're you're still going to be a, you know a nice person because you're engaging in their stuff they're you're helping with their engagement you're helping with their with other people seeing their stuff whenever you engage it causes Facebook to show it to more people right so that's part of the process now, now some people they might not know that they might not realize that they will still treat you like if you're you know doing stuff you shouldn't be or whatever or why are you commenting if you're not interested in my stuff and whatever so that'll happen so don't worry about that but the thing is that if they're they know what they're doing if they're on social media plus maybe they don't maybe you're trying to sell products for weight loss so that'll be different than marketers like me I'm at, I'm I'm um, you know engaging on marketer stuff so marketers understand most of this uh, social media stuff and they're going to appreciate the, just the engagement but somebody who's trying to sell a weight loss product or things like that that they don't understand the, the social media aspect of it they might not they might not like you engaging on their stuff so for those people for that market I'd recommend you engage on their personal stuff definitely on the personal stuff if you're not going to buy their product don't say stuff like oh I want I want to hear more about this unless you really do want to hear more about it right so you got to be honest if you're not honest people won't like and trust you either right so you got to be careful with that uh, but the process is going to be the same the process is get a list this list is going to tell you who is the most active in the groups you choose and it's going to help you to reach the people as fast as possible because you know Marina here Mariella sorry Mariella I commented on 18 of her posts right and Niharika sorry I hope I'm saying that right I engaged on 18 of her posts but only 21 reactions these are the reactions here uh, click funnels David only 18 posts and two reactions or these are actually this these are reactions and these are no these are visits right oh yeah that, that's a good point right here 
so I visited where where is that oh I lost it oh all oh, right here <clears throat> so click funnels David is probably some sort of admin or oh, it's a page but over here it says I visited 18 times but only had two posts I engaged on so because I only engaged on two posts it still hasn't changed too warm or hot it's not even cold and that's because you know you can't have a prospect warm up to you if they can't see you in their in their you know notifications right so that's kind of how that works so right well anyways like I said I don't I don't really know what else to tell you about this it's just software the software helps because it helps you to organize and helps you to track and helps you to focus and that's what this software does and if you have any questions you can always reach out or like I said go to the workshop workshop.jsgangle.com go check it out and see for yourself how to use this software this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time